the evolution of the goblin shark. The rare deep sea shark species, Mitsukurina ostoni, is known as the goblin shark. It is the only living member of the 125 million year old family Mitsukurinidae, earning it the nickname Living Fossil. This pink furred beast stands out from the crowd because of its protruding jaws and sharp nail like teeth. Mature length is typically between 3 and 4 meters, 10 and 13 feet, while far larger specimens have been caught, including one that was reportedly 6 meters, 20 feet long, that was spotted in 2000. How did the goblin shark came to be? Curious to know more? Now let's get deeper into this. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update. Let's start the video. According to morphological analyses of shark families, the goblin shark is the most primitive representative of the mackerel shark order, lamniforms. Genetic data studies have also validated the species' basal classification. Mitsukurina, Scapanorhynchus, and Anomotodon are all members of the family Mitsukurinidae, which first appeared in the Cretaceous Epoch during the Aptian period, circa 125 to 113 MA. For example, M. lineata and M. maslinensis are two extinct species of Mitsukurina that were first discovered in the fossil record during the Middle Eocene, about 49 to 39 MA. Striatolemia macro to an organism that thrived in the warm, shallow seas of the Paleogene Epoch, about 66 to 23 MA, is maybe also a species of Mitsukurina. The goblin shark has been called a living fossil because it represents the terminal stage of a long-lived lineage and preserves numerous primitive characteristics. The goblin shark's long, blade-like snout is easily identifiable. When people get older, their snouts get shorter than the rest of their faces. The eyes are poorly protected by nictitating membranes and are rather tiny. Instead, they are surrounded by spiracles. Parabolic in form, the mouth is extremely wide. While generally resting flush against the underside of the head, the jaws are exceptionally protrusible and can be extended to almost the end of the snout. The upper jaw has between 35 and 53 teeth and the lower jaw has between 31 and 62 teeth in its rows. The primary jaw teeth, especially those around the symphysis, jaw midline, are long and slender and have fine longitudinal grooves. Crushing is accomplished with the help of small, flattened teeth located toward the back of the jaw. There is a great deal of individual diversity in tooth length and width, as well as in the existence of the toothless gaps at the symphysis or between the main and posterior teeth and the presence of tiny cusplets on each side of the major cusp. The gill slits of the five pairs are small, exposing the gill filaments within. The fifth pair is located above the pectoral fin insertion point. The physique is lean and sloppy, small and rounded in form. The two dorsal fins are otherwise indistinguishable from one another. As a whole, the pectoral fins are little and rounded. The dorsal fins are smaller and shorter, whereas the pelvic and anal fins are longer and wider. In addition to having no keels or notches, the caudal peduncle is convex on both sides. The upper lobe of the caudal fin is lengthy and has a shallow ventral notch towards the tip, whereas the lower lobe is more diffuse. Dermal denticles, which are shaped like little upright spines and have ridges running lengthwise, give the otherwise smooth semi-opaque skin a gritty texture, as their blood vessels are visible on the surface. Living members of this type of shark are pink or tan. The color deepens with age, and juveniles may be nearly white. Black eyes have bluish streaks in the irises, and the fin edges are translucent gray or blue. As soon as death has occurred, the vibrant colors fade to a muted gray or brown. Commonly, adult sharks are between 3 to 4 meters, 9.8 and 13.1 feet in length, capturing a female believed to be between 5.4 and 6.2 meters in length. In the year 2000 proved, however, that this species is capable of reaching far greater sizes than were previously thought. Its greatest length was estimated to be 7 meters, 23 feet, in a 2019 study. The largest shark ever caught was 3.8 meters, 12.5 feet long, and weighed 210 kilograms, 460 pounds. This is it, everyone. So, what do you think? Leave a comment and let us know. Thank you for watching the video, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that. Also, put on the notifications because the next video is going to be a great one.